Dark? Einstein! Where do you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Looks like the time circuits still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I programmed the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now, or then, or uh, maybe later. He's in trouble! Marty, you come to my rescue in the past. Or was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please, take the DeLorean back, or, or forward, to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading marked Last Time Departed. Good luck. Right, right, Last Time Departed, Last Time Departed, uh... Oh, jeez. Come on, come on! Come on! Crap! Oh, great! How am I supposed to find him now? What do you know about this, Shuiny? Great Scott! I think he's onto something! Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einie? Step away from the door! Ah. Now, let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on! Just as I suspected. Hooligans! Get along now! Scat! I'm not a hooligan, ma'am. I'm a, a teenager. I wasn't born yesterday, young man. Aren't you the miscreant who skateboards through the town square every morning between 8 and 8.30 in a decidedly unpunctual manner? Uh, yeah? All skateboarders are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. E. Strickland? You aren't related to, uh, Vice Principal Strickland, are you, ma'am? Not that it's any of your business, but I'm his sister, Edna. Oh, and you're one of those McFly slackers, aren't you? Yes, uh, what's old man Strick? I mean, what else has your brother been saying about me? Nothing I couldn't have deduced for myself, slacker. State your business, child! You're making me miss Merv! Well, 
See, that's the thing. I'm not sure why I'm here. Einstein here brought me, and... Well? Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. I keep this picture of my dad to remind me that even the most hopeless losers can grow up to be pretty cool guys. A shoe? Wow, now what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Stay there! Sorry, Einstein. Well, took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Hmm, much better. So neat and orderly. Yeah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... And all I've got is tea and candy. But... I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Uh... Have a seat, Sonny. Hey! You kid! Put out those cigarettes! Oh, the candy looks older than I am. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ms. Pretty Whiskers is very particular about who handles her food. <laughs> is that Vice Principal Strickland? Mother never could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. Don't touch those! My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! I know what you're doing behind that tree! Yes? What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue? From 